No, we are seeing a very interesting phenomenon. And I'm, and I'm now talking to, as I said, one of the most uh, uh, experienced consummate polit political leaders, not, not the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. You please put on your political hat for me and your political analysis uh, hat for me. Very interesting phenomenon we are seeing in Indian politics. We've seen it in Madhya Pradesh. Uh, you won the election, come the Lok Sabha, it swept the other way. We saw it in Rajasthan, we've seen it in Chhattisgarh. Very recently, we've seen it in Jharkhand, we've seen it in Maharashtra, we almost saw it in Haryana. The point I'm driving at is, we are seeing a, a fairly unprecedented situation that I don't think has happened in, in the democratic world. When Prime Minister Modi is on the ballot, when the, when the voter is voting to elect him, he almost seems to give him a 15 percentage point advantage. And I'm not, I'm, I'm using this 15 percentage point very uh, uh, responsibly, I've seen it in all these state elections, that he hits about 50-51% when he's on the ballot, and then the BJP retreats to about 35-36% vote share when he's not on the, on the ballot. How do you read this? It's unprecedented in the democratic world. It's, the tone has been set. Maharashtra, Haryana, in the parliament election, they won 79 seats in Haryana. Yes, and a 54% vote share. And with such a large vote share. What happened? Five months later, was it, do you think the people were going to vote in the name of Mr. Khattar? It no, was Mr. Was Modi's. Uh, it was Mr. Modi's name. You think it was Mr. Modi's uh, of course. depletion in his capital? Absolutely, complete depletion. I have never seen such depletion of capital in all my political experience that suddenly you depreciate so much. And that's what happened. But that's what I'm disagreeing with you. I don't think it's a depletion in his capital. When he's on the ballot, he gets the vote. There's only one example which you have is of me. There's no other example. Every other example is but against But one him. swallow does make a summer sometime. No. In the parliament election, it was a phenomena. As I say, he whipped up nationalism. He whipped up security. Everybody said, fine, you know, we are safe in his hand. Now, now people say, what's safe? Where are the jobs? Where is the economy? Every section of society today is in distress. Which section of society is not in distress? Unfortunately, we are still four and a half years away from testing this hypothesis of yours. I don't know. You must remember, the most uh, uncertain thing is politics. And uh, now you have students on the streets. Students on the streets, today they are on the streets for something else. Tomorrow they can be on the streets for something else. And once unrest comes, mm -hmm. India is not a country of unrest. Okay, India is a country of harmony. And when we talk of harmony, uh, people want harmony, want peace. That was one of the things Modi said, that if I'm your Prime Minister, you will all be in peace, you are secure. He brought in Pakistan. What, he, what we should have said is, that Mrs. Gandhi, in the Pakistan war, got 93,000 prisoners, and Mr. Modi makes one strike, which nobody knows what, is, what it's all about. <laughs> but that, that is what the fact is. Okay, you know, you're alluding to something that I want, again, your experience. Is it similar to sort of 1971? Is 2019 playing out like 1971? Mrs. Gandhi came with a huge majority. Um, then she went on to win the Bangladesh war. And then there was this precipitous fall in her popularity. And emergency. And then the emergency. Uh, emergency and 77 we lost. I saw it happening. Yes. I saw it happening before my own eyes. So is, Mrs. is it similar? Is it, are the slopes Times have enough? changed. Communication is very different. Previously, you didn't know what was happening here uh, or what was happening there. Now, everybody knows what's happening everywhere. So, communication is much faster. People understand much faster. So, that will work to the disadvantage. You, you, you can't lock yourself up. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Mr. Modi will have to contend with this. Okay, one more thing on this. Uh, you know, ever since this new government has come, um, the pace at which some of these things have happened in the last six months. You think they've misread the pace? I mean, there's Kashmir, there is 370, there is triple talaq, there is CA. It's almost like relentless. Every one month, we'll come at you with, with, a, with a politically disruptive move. Is Why? that the problem? Why? You tell me. Simple. Mr. Modi's and the BJP's one-point agenda. There's not even a one-and-a-half-point agenda. 
is to divide society. Anything which divides society is what Mr. Modi wants to do. If you can think of some innovative thing which will divide society, please tell Mr. Modi, <laughs> he will do it. Right? His game is to divide society. <laughs> okay. He's not interested in anything else. Because he's still, he's still in the world of May 2019, where he said that I was able to divide society in the name of nationalism, in the name of Pakistan, in the name of surgical strike. And uh, in the short span of the campaign, two months, I was able to sell this, now I'll sell this. And I'll lay the foundations for the next election. Now, those foundations have to work. Why didn't they work in Maharashtra? Why didn't they work in Haryana? Because, Why didn't they work in Jharkhand? Because I wagered the voter wasn't voting for Mr. Modi. He was, he was voting for... Every election of now is in the name of Mr. Modi. You mean to say the people were voting for Mr. Fadnes? <laughs> I mean, or Mr. Khattar? 